kind of mentioned with you guys that you know, it's impossible for us to go over each and every type of functions that we can do. But basically, in this example, all they're asking you to do is divide. So you're going to have x cubed over the cube root of 1 minus x cubed. Well, that's really division. We can't really simplify this at all. So now we need to look at our domain. Now, the important thing about the domain is, I know I've said it, but we haven't done any examples on this. We talked about the square root of x. You cannot take the square root of a negative number, right? So we know that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, in the exact same example, um, this is not, when we, let's look at the cube root. Well, the cube root, we can take the cube root of a positive and a negative number. right? Think about it. The cube root of negative 8 and the cube root of um, positive 8. The cube root saying, what number multiplied by itself three times can you get to give negative 8? Well, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Positive 2 times positive 2 times positive 2. So the cube root of a negative number is just a negative um, solution. And the cube root of a positive number is just a positive solution. The problem comes when you're talking about an even root. If it's the square root, if it's the fourth root, any even root, you can only take the even root of a positive number. All right. So anytime you're taking the even root of a negative number, it's not going to be able to do that. So this is a cube root, but there's no restrictions on the cube root. There's no restrictions on the cube root. So this would be our domain would be from negative infinity to infinity. OK? You could put all real numbers, but that represents all real numbers.